we will compare syringe-based aspiration through a manual aspiration catheter to that of PumpMax continuous power aspiration through a CAT-RX aspiration catheter. Here we have a vacuum-locked syringe attached to a pressure gauge. For the test, we will attach a manual aspiration catheter to the syringe with the distal portion of the catheter submerged in water. Pure vacuum is minus 29.92 inches of mercury, the equivalence of one atmosphere. The syringe pull measures less than pure vacuum due to small pockets of air within the syringe. We now open the stockcock on the syringe, allowing water to enter the syringe through the manual aspiration catheter. As the syringe fills with water, we see a decrease in vacuum, which causes a decrease in flow rate and a subsequent limit in aspiration time. Here we attach a pressure gauge to the pump max. For the test, we will attach a CAT-RX aspiration catheter to pump max via aspiration tubing with the distal portion of CAT-RX submerged in water. When we slide the flow switch to the on position, water begins to flow into the canister. We see steady vacuum, which causes a steady flow rate, and subsequently, continuous power aspiration. We now graph the results with the syringe. Vacuum drop-off occurs quickly as fluid starts filling syringe cylinder. With the pump max, full vacuum is maintained for the duration of the procedure.